Uh, hello, hello. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back to uh, a playthrough of Crystal Chronicles My Life as a King. We are picking up right where we left off. Um, my name is Deku Scrub Spenstar. And yeah, this is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles My Life as a King. Spin off of a spin off, it's been called. And yeah, so I'll explain as much as I can as we go. Uh, you can always watch the first video again. I guess this will be part two. I'll play this for like maybe 45 minutes. O chosen king, unto thee I bestow the whole of my kingdom. Fill the land with people. Fill the land with people. Go forth and multiply. Is someone? Someone magically came out of this house that we just magicked into existence. Well, where am I? And who are the, you, the... Now I remember, you're King Deku. I just magicked you into existence and you remember who I am? <laughs> you made this for us with your magic? To show our gratitude, we will live in it. Sire, with this power, your dream of rebuilding our town can become a reality. That's right, your majesty. Keep building houses and drawing the people back. Drawing them back. I can help you when you want to use architect. Whenever you ring the bell, I'll use a special teleport. I'll use a special teleport. <coughs> you. And pop up in front of you. Pop up in front of you. I can teleport. <laughs> Calling chime. Left and right shake of the Wii remote brings chime to help you use architect. It startled at first, but the house is simply lovely, exactly like our other one. The kitchen, the sofa, all of it is just as I remembered. It feels like a fresh start. Oh yes, they have moods. Forget, I forgot about that. So, Your Majesty, why not build some more? The scattered citizens of the kingdom will finally be together once again. Okay, let's see. If I remember correctly, last time, I'm going to save this one for... I want to save this space for a uh, duplex house that'll fit exactly here. I'm going to save this space for another cork board, behest board. So let's go ahead. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, I think maybe we could put a fountain there or something. I think, if I remember. Okay, I'm gonna try and think ahead. Shake the remote at your service, Your Majesty. Yes, let's build a small house. Yeah, let's do right here. <laughs> Gotta think fourth dimensionally. <laughs> Eno's house. Oh. oh, your majesty, you really are the king, right? I'm not just imagining it, am I? <laughs> 
Oh, is it true? Magic. Uh-huh. The crystals. Oh, I see. Man, it got dark all of a sudden. Oh, I see. I get it. That means our days as nomads are finally over. Your days as nomads. So, I think it's trying to say... Is it trying to say that... Were they, like, magically traveling with me and I kind of magic them into existence? Or are they... Were they saying that they were kind of traveling along and it just, um kind of glossed over the fact that they were in the wilderness and they came out of the house is it I don't know what I was trying to say is it that they were magically with me in some kind of pocket dimension uh okay let's see if we can build another one Nola's house. How'd I get back? Oh, you know, architect, carrying out your father's will, hmm? As a solid member of our community, I'll help you rebuild in any way I can. I think we just keep building until it says we can't build anymore. Oh, no, yep, yeah, now we can't build anymore. <laughs> What's going on? My reserve of elementite is depleted. Uh, yeah. Architect and elementite. Using architect consumes elementite, thus you need a certain amount to build. Now we have our bar up here. The elementite gauge on your upper left of the screen reflects your current stock. If you wish to build more, you must gather the fuel required, Elementite. Elementite lies in the many mazes beyond the castle wall. Set your sights first on the Palum de Caverns. We do need Elementite, but the caverns pose a problem. Pro pose the problem of monsters. You're not suggesting His Majesty should go, right? Heavens no, sire, the king is protector of his people and must exercise caution. Then, uh, then allow me to go. I want to repay the king in some way for his kindness. I'll be a knight. <laughs> That's the spirit, lad. He didn't say I'll be a knight. I added it. It was a nod. To a reference. Hopefully, some of you will get that. That's the spirit, lad. Sire, why not commission this lad as an adventurer, a preserver of the realm? Adventurers. The king cannot go gather elementite himself, so he commissions adventurers. Thank you, sire. I'll make the necessary preparations immediately. Adventurer Mark, at your service. I will fight for you and give my all. It's getting dark already. We would do well to postpone departures until tomorrow. Your Majesty, about the new kingdom, do you think things will work out all right? Mm-hmm. Well, that architect is quite the magic, isn't it? I'd say the prospects of recovering our town in full look rather promising. Our hopes of rebuilding the kingdom could finally come true here. 
On that note, sire, isn't it about time we all called it for a night? Called it a night? She's right, your majesty. We can't afford to get off to a late start tomorrow. Ah. I have a bedtime. Yes, you're a young kid. You have a bedtime. But I'm the king. I imagine you're old enough now to recognize and heed the wisdom of your elders. <laughs> your Majesty. Well, wait just a moment. Sire, where are you going? I don't want to go to bed. Your Majesty, we agreed no more nighttime antics. <laughs> oh, please wait up, sire. <laughs> Here we go again. She could just teleport after him. Magic that gives shape to memories. Hmm. Is the father who prepared this land also calling his people? Hmm. It's unfair that memories of this good man should bring with them sorrow. King Epitav, I can tell you watch over us, and I know for sure we'll meet again. Beautiful. Again, this, this, this franchise, this part of the Final Fantasy franchise, the Crystal Chronicle franchise, had the best artwork and music. Um... Yeah, with the exception of, uh, with the exception of Crystal Bears, uh, which was also for the Wii, uh, its music was not so well done, but almost as beautiful. It had more of a steampunk with this <laughs> setting with crystals. It's a beautiful day. Good morning, sire. I can tell you get a good night's sleep. Your Majesty, I was doing some thinking last night. About what? Uh-huh. Our kingdom should have a name. Our kingdom should have... Oh, we get to name the kingdom now. And you should be the one to name it. So the realm will be as you wish. Enter the name of the kingdom. Padarak. Padarak? So we have... Epitav... Padarak... Leo... Chime, Hugh Yor. Uh, I wonder if these are all meant to be a reference to something, or if this was just the the name that was given it. I don't know. Uh, I didn't think this far. Uh, let's call it. <laughs> I want to be even more nod e. Let's see if y'all can get this reference. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just getting over a cold. <clears throat> it was a really bad cold, lasted days. So, Lost Time. The kingdom of Lost Time. I so be it, so it shall be done. Yes, a glorious name. One reflecting the king's desire for the country to flourish. Well, not wrong. What will it be, sire? 
from this day forth, we will faithfully serve lost time. It looks like we aren't the only ones up and about. Yes, there's the adventurer you commissioned yesterday. Off he goes. Let's go see him off, shall we? Beautiful. Looks a little sparse, but... A map in the castle indicates that the Palum de Caverns are near here. Even with help at the ready, never let your guard down. Remember, collecting elementite means nothing if you end up hurt. Promise me you'll be careful out there. Yes, ma'am, will do. I'll be back before you know it, and with as much treasure as I can carry. <laughs> with enthusiasm like that, he's bound to return safely, but let's pray anyway. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there's this spire building in, off in the distance. Um, I forget what that... Um, I forget if that's actually supposed to be part of... the, like, final boss tower? Or may, was that the... Or that might be where the Mughals are. I don't know. I forget. Here, Your Majesty, I think you'll find this clock quite useful. Do you like clocks? Do you have any clocks? Passage of time. Time passes in the kingdom. In the kingdom of lost time. <laughs> and the town changes hourly. The clock on the upper left of the screen indicates the time of day. I'm going back to the castle now. Sire, please feel free to summon me anytime. Your Majesty, hold on, Koopo! 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 We already have the Moogle. Look at the Moogles! They're the Moogles! I love the Moogles. They're so adorable. Look at those big ears, the pom-poms. Why, it's none other than the Moogle Brothers. The Moogle Brothers. What brings you here? Don't sweat the details. You'll live longer, Koopo. <laughs> Mogro. Mogoish. We're actually curious about the new town, Koopo. We came here to help, Koopo. Koopo! Look at the little bat wings, the big giant ears, the pom-poms, and the squishy... I have... I have a Moogle plushie somewhere. I have a Moogle plushie. From this game, from this series, somewhere. Sire, the brothers formerly assisted King Epitav with their fact-finding prowess. Fact-finding prowess. So true, Hyokupo. Call on us if you're in a fix and we'll try to fix it up. <laughs> try to fix it, Kupo. <laughs> My son is absolutely beside himself because at last he can be of service to you. I only hope he's not so wound up he gets hurt. Generous offer. However, I feel as if you may spend most of the time waiting around. Mark has reached Palum de Caverns. Adventuring updates. View breaking news about adventurers in the info window on the upper right. Sire, do you remember how we often played together in the old town, Kupo? The miasma didn't affect us, Moogles, so afterwards we traveled the world, Kupo. 
but we missed you terribly. Your Majesty, Koopo, let's play together again, Koopo. Koopo! Hmm, this place definitely needs the decorative touch, Koopo. First of all, no houses, Koopo. Negative space can make a difference, but come on, Koopo. Barren land does nothing to inspire my, art my artistic soul. My creativity withers, Koopo. Oops. Let me know if you ever want a sketch of anything. Koopo, how can you sketch? With his teeth? With his little paws? We three form a secret society, cloaked in shadow, ready to aid the king, Koopo. Even if you don't see us when trouble hits, say the word and we'll appear, Koopo. Okay, so... It's not letting me see the behest board yet. This lets me see... There's no, when there's no one in the house, China's there. Hmm, no one's home. This is our adventurer's house, isn't it? The mother must still be at the gate. You can view each household's information when you enter this, then this way. We can view the family info here. Here's Eddie's family. Mother and Mark the Warrior. Mark the Warrior. Status out. Mark. So, we see what they look like. And Warrior Strength. We see his... Yeah, all his stats, no abilities. He has antidote, potion. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can manage. We can't really fix any of that from here yet. Uh, or maybe not. We fix that later. Like, we can give them stuff. We can, yeah... You can still view this household, even if it's a... Novice. I think novice is just the generic if they're not assigned any... Enola, mother, and Edda. They're not assigned any class. Welcome to our humble abode, sire. How may I be of service? Our family? Yes, Enos, the father, and Stella, the novice. Now, uh, I forget... Oh. Look who's back. Booyah! <laughs> Adventure returns. An adventurer returned safely from Paloon de Caverns. There's nothing better than a happy homecoming. Now we'll be able to build another house tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Sire, there's a disturbing presence beyond where the Elementite lies. Oh, do you think maybe it's the boss of the cavern? I don't know if it's my job. Why not save the details for the adventurer report? We'll read in the morning. You performed your duties admirably. There will be more for you to do tomorrow. Pick up your daily wages at the castle, then head home for some well-earned rest. Excuse me, your majesty? Oh yeah, she's the other novice. Please, oh please, let me be an adventurer too. I want to be fam, er, or rather, I want to be of assistance. Sorry. I want to be fat. I wonder what she was going to say, like familiar? I want to be familiar. I want to be of assistance. Well, Your Majesty, a solo adventurer might like some company. Thinking maybe, she, thinking maybe she wants to be closer to Mark. I forget if I think there's 
you have, you can make, that couples can get together, I think couples can get together in this game. I think, yeah, it is a lot like Sims, um, woohoo, <laughs> woohoo, <laughs> it's a lot like Sims, <laughs> thank you, I'll be good and go to go tomorrow. Again, I I remember a lot about this game, but there's a lot that I don't remember. Ahem, Your Majesty, to be sure, adding more adventures to our roster is good for the realm, but... Uh-oh, let me guess. We don't have enough money? We don't have enough money. I'm afraid time is right. We are, as they say, short. Hmm. Coming, says the dwarf. Did you call me short? Was that a short joke? I've been secretly buying some equipment for the one we've had so far. You see, your majesty, commissioning a new adventurer takes money. Starting tomorrow, you'll have to collect daily tithes from your from the citizenry. Then uh, citizenry. Hmm. Then, how about you do the commissioning, too? A splendid idea. And I have another. Young citizens desire to be adventurers, desiring to be adventurers, can gather in front of the castle. Those deemed worthy in the sight of the king will be commissioned adventurers. Oh, right. We need to pay Mark for, hit for our hired day's work. Back to the castle for me. I'm greatly relieved to see adventures come back to us safe and sound. Not to mention that my dwindling savings may at last find reprieve. Oh, no, no, no. No, oh, no. What I mean is that our modest workforce may at last be increased. <laughs> huh. I'm so hungry. My kingdom. <laughs> my kingdom. For some homestead bread or a striped apple. <laughs> some bread, some bread, my kingdom for a bread. Or a striped apple. Striped apples. Oh, I beg your pardon, sire. I was caught it up in my sweet memories of our old bakery. It's a shame we don't have one here yet. Could you build one using architect? <laughs> Chime, I summon thee. Your Majesty, that might be difficult at this point. You can't employ architect if you don't have memories of the building to, um, draw on. <laughs> Sire, you seldom went into town, and I assume you never went to a bakery. Hmm. In that case, why not go see the Mughal? Mogdilo. He could draw a picture to help you imagine one. That's Magro. I'm not Magtilo. Kupo. <laughs> Kupo. The name is Magro. Kupo. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> Racist Kupo. We do not look alike, Kupo. See past the obvious, and we're totally different, Kupo. We say the same of humans. <laughs> I'm the oldest, Kupo. See, I know the score, the scoop, and the poop, Kupo. <laughs> I know the score, the scoop, and the poop. <laughs> yep, he's going in to get his wages. Uh, come on, where are you, Kupo? Where is that? Mogoish. Mogdilo? Sorry, wrong brother, Kupo. I'm Mogoish. Kupo po! Haha, you never were very good at hide and seek with the three of us, Kupo. Don't worry, Kupo. It takes a real pro to be able to tell Mughal faces apart, Kupo. Racist. 
I think he's at the top of this tower, but we can't get to the top of this tower. Um, later in the game, there's a Moogle sitting right outside here, and we talk to him, and he says, do you want to go up to the tower, Gopo? And he lets us up. Uh, I forget what's up at the tower. I think it's either for designing something uh, or for... Uh, I forget. Uh, and this. I never found out if so something was supposed to go here or not. It always seemed like something went here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then this giant nothing space. Like, Moktilo is way classier than we are. That ought to help you find it faster. Kupo, po. Like this, this big nothing space. This was some kind of flaw. Oh, I'm wondering if maybe there was some expansion. I thought I bought the all the expansion. I thought I bought all the expansions for this. Well, time to go to bed. Zyra, you'll need the rest for tomorrow's activities. We do have to get up early in the morning, Zyra. Yes, we can continue the kingdom restoration with renewed vigor. Vigor. Uh huh. She can teleport all of us. Hey. hey. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> hmm. What? What? Oh, I forgot about this guy. Yo. Huh? Get out! Yeah. Oh yeah, I think this guy's name's Pavlov, if I remember correctly. It talks! It talks! Yeah, it's getting to shut up, that's the trick. What's the deal? This land belongs to me! No trespassers allowed! Get off! Get out or else! Your Majesty! Penguin pursuit. Catch the puzzling penguin. You have 30 seconds. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. I have to stay with them. Ah. Did I do it? No? Hmm. Call it a draw? Ping poing! Ha! You are exactly how I pictured you, teeny tiny kitty king. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yes, we're talking to you. Where did you come from? Are you lost, little Pengi? Pengi. It is not Pengi. It's Pavlov. Yeah, I was right. Oh, I see. Pavlov it is, then. This young man is the ruler of this realm, King Diku. I am Chime, and Yon Lilty Knight is Sir Hugh York. Hm, I know that you're Cranky Chime, and he's Stuffy Sir York. Heh. What? We've only been here since yesterday. Pavlov, I believe you said something earlier about this land belonging to you. How is it that you know us? Where were you acquainted with King Epitaph in this land? Peh! I don't have to tell you anything, so there. Hmm, 
if I could speak freely to refer to his majesty as, and I quote, teeny tiny kitty king is inexcusable. Too bad for you, it's true. The teeny tiny kitty king is a spoiled crybaby. Oi! How dare, sire, this flightless fowl know something. Please, Pavlov, if you know anything at all about Lord Epitav. What makes you think I know anything about that unstable, unrefined poop? <laughs> <coughs> 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 Uh, that's it. You go too far. I have a mind to... Ah, finally it saved. Okay. Good morning, sire. Yesterday f sure flew by in a blur of activity, didn't it? That's why I've marshaled the facts and compiled a morning report for you. In fact, I'll make it a daily habit, so we can go over events the day before. All right, then, let's take a look, shall we? We'll start with the news brief. This is an overview of the state of the realm. There are two kinds of news brief, the adventure report and the financial report. Adventure Report covers the previous day's activity of all adventurers, much like a travel journey. You can check status, items, and other info here. Get to know the skills and personalities of each one. Okay, we have Mark, Exploration Log. He went to Plume de, Ca Plume de Caverns, reached Beginning Trail. He obtained 200 Elementite. Uh, he's about to level up, also. That was fast, although he's a starting character, so... And then he received his payment at the end of the day, at 12 p.m., at noon. It only took him an hour. Uh, oh, no. At 9 a.m., and then at noon. 15 gil for three hours' work. Uh, and Stella, I became a sanctioned adventurer. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. I will not let you down. Let's look at the financial report. Next up, financial report. If it sounds stuffy, consider an account of the tithes and elementite you spent and earned the day before. This is the elementite. The report shows the amount of elementite collected. Since our first adventurer came back with Elementite, we can build a house today. Here are the ties. The report indicates the total donated by the citizenry. The ties can be used to send adventurers out on royal behests, and you can use the money at your discretion for projects like expanding local shops. Ties belong entirely to you to be used as you see fit, but use them wisely. Oh, and keep in mind that the bigger the population, the more ties you'll get. Also, when the people are happy, they're more likely to give tithes generously. That's it for the financial report. Thank you. Now we come to your biggest job, behests. Allow me to explain. Remember how there was talk of monsters at Palumda Caverns yesterday? We should investigate further. When you ask adventurers to do such work, you issue what, you issue what are called behests. So... Which location would you like to post this behest for? Okay. Yeah. All these question mark spots? Um, they are... This kingdom map will help you choose a destination. Today, Palumda Cavern is at the question mark spot. This is the goal. Use the cursor or the control pad to move the cursor there. Uh, so... I forget... 
which one of the uh, might be one of these down here is the final boss. Yeah, you just send explorers out to die for you. <laughs> well, they don't really die. Uh, they come back out of commission for a few days. Uh, so... But, yeah. I forget which one of these... There's a certain point, because I bought the expansions for this, there's a certain point that um, after we beat one of these, we'll be able to build uh, houses for uh, Selkie, tri Selkie tribes and Yuk tribe also. Up pops the behest list. Up pops the behest list. Select from the best list the one you wish to issue. The issue behest will be posted on a bulletin board in town, where adventurers will gradually come gather at the board. Oh, almost forgot. It costs gil to issue behest. Rewards for adventurers have to be paid up front. At the moment, there's only one bulletin board, so you can only issue one behest. Thought you should know. So... I don't know where, so, wherever we get money from. A small maze of natural tunnels. Defeat dungeon boss to clear dungeon. All large elementite recovered. A fountain rest of restoration exists. Um, defeat the boss and gain large elementite. Um... Monsters are Mini Moo and a Wee Worm. A Wee Worm. Uh, okay, so we have option Explore or Defeat the Boss. Um, well, let's, I guess let's try and defeat the boss. We need 10 gil to post this behest. However, we only have 160 gil in our coffers. 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 Our funds will go down to 150 gil if we post this behest. Would you like to proceed? Yes, I think we can spare 10. Our behests have been posted. All the bulletin boards are full. So no new ones until tomorrow. Yeah, you can build new bulletin boards later. And that's it for... Reports this morning, sir. Let's have another productive day. Yo! No wonder you hide your ugly mug behind a mask. Pa! Who trusts that face? For some reason, I'm giving him Uncle Chan from Jackie Chan Adventures. The cartoon series his voice don't mess with uncle ah you again where have you been hiding oh no that was you york ah you again where have you been hiding never you mind tiny tin tiny tin i'm here to see our mutual pal the minuscule monarch hmm. a royal audience does your insolence know no bounds too bad for you, it's true. My info network's feed, my info network feeds the teeny tiny kitty king. He gets adventurer profiles and kingdom news from from us. So you've been helping the king all along? Maybe you're not as bad as you seem. Hmm, don't count on it. I'm only doing it because I'm keeping a promise. Pa! A promise? You mean a promise to King Epitaph? Well, it wasn't made to you, so fetch off, bell ringer. <laughs> Meh. Oh, the sass. Royal treasury, daily tithes are deposited here and used to pay for the king's civic projects.
Oh, Your Majesty, we saw the behest posted this morning. We are thinking of all heading out together. Yeah, but I'm not sure if I'm ready. Something troubling you, Your Majesty? Oh yeah, this is where their m moods come into play again. See, some adventurers may need to get orders directly from the king. Sometimes if they're not feeling up to the task of going out on an adventure, or if they get overwhelmed by the adventure, uh, if their mood is too low, then they won't be able to perform and they could get killed out there. <laughs> Time to decide who's going to do what you going to do what for you today. If you talk to individuals, you can find out important details about their abilities. Assigning behest. Adventurers come to the board when you issue a behest. By talking to adventurers, you can view skill levels and direct them to take on behests or gain experience. Oh, she's feeling excited. I'm eager to take on this behest, sire. Just say the word. Make us proud. Hello, Your Majesty. I was thinking about accepting this behest. Make us proud. Oh, gain XP. Uh, I should have had her do that. Right. Right, I forgot about this. Shoot. Okay, I should have had her do it just to gain XP. He should do the one who accomplishes it, because he's level 2. He should be the one who actually fights the boss. Oops. Oh, well. They're both going to fight the boss together. At some point, um, although they are technically fighting the boss as separate people. They are fighting the boss as separate people. Uh, later in the game, you can... Um, like when you purchase uh, like a guild or something. Mogtilo. Or Mogtio. Kupo! What's up, Kupo? I am Mogtio, Kupo. Oh, I was going to say you can... When they, when they do join the... Um, I think it's actually a tavern. Uh, when they do... They actually form a group, and they fight as a group. Mm-hmm. Memories of a bakery. You've got it covered. I've got it covered, Kupo. As Your Majesty explains his recollections of the bakery, I'll draw them, Kupo. A bit of Kupo Kupo here, a touch of avant-garde there, and Kupo... <laughs> Oh, we can turn the camera while we're talking. There you are, Kupo. One bakery design. Ready to become a reality, Kupo. Oof. Excuse me. Adding buildings. Fielding adventurers and talking with people expands the king's architect abilities, enabling him to build new structures. Okay, now let's see. Mark has reached Plum de Caverns. Stella has reached Palum de Caverns. Uh, let's see, I'm wondering if we should make the bakery right in the middle or right behind this house. The thing is, um, yeah, I might as well. Let's build. Build, please choose the type of structure you want to build. House, citizen shop. Um, so, uh, there's another thing. Yeah, where you build it is important um, in relation to the other buildings. So it says there are three households near this location. This establishment is sure to become quite popular. It will, and it will give your citizens a morale boost every time they make a purchase in the establishment. Yeah, this citizen shop or small house. It takes up two squares. It'll take 200 to build. We have 208. This is perfect. Uh, yeah. That's perfect. 
Ooh. Poof. Bakery built. You have successfully built the kingdom's first bakery. Yay! Yeah! Boosting morale. People are happy when they can shop for goods nearby. Boosts like this to the public mood rises realm morale. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, you really gotta keep track of morale. The morale gauge is on the upper left of your screen. When it gets full, you will receive a pleasant surprise. It's a real treat to have another place to shop. I'd be even happier with a store in my neighborhood so I could shop every day. With a store in my neighborhood. It's, this is a store in your neighborhood. There's only three buildings. There's only three houses there. This is your neighborhood. What are you talking about? Wesley's Bakery. Wesley. Good of you to come, sire. We have freshly baked bread for your tasting pleasure. How's business? We haven't had many customers recently. Well, yeah, you just got into existence. <laughs> Come again, sir. So, I'm thinking. Kind of want to make this. Uh, duplex again. Uh, ah, I'll do it later. Oh. We can make another shop. Oh, okay. Okay, house. Only small house. I forgot there was more to the list. Uh, yeah, houses or shop. Okay, limit one. I already built one, so I'm good. Limit of ten houses, so we can build three more. Okay. So, yeah. And it costs... Oh, I can't build anymore because it costs a hundred. Okay. So, I'm done building for the day. Hey, Your Majesty, listen to this. That's right, I brought down the big boss monster. I guess I'll have to learn to deal with all the fans who'll be hanging around. <laughs> a young kid fighting for the realm, doing a fine thing, and ought to be proud. If I were a couple years younger, I'd be picking off monsters myself, you know. The king, the kids, we all grow up and get older. You're a pipsqueak one minute, and the next you're working for the kingdom. To put your life on the line in defense of your country is downright impressive. I hope someday people will have reason to praise me. Yeah, why does is his mother chuckled at that? <laughs> Adventures are awesome. Maybe I should do some sword training myself, eh? Hack, slash, swipe, yeah, yeah, huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Defender of the kingdom. Ah, shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long. Clap, 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 clap. <coughs> Did the drawing help, Kupo? If you ever need assistance again, calling Montillo, Kupo. We'll call Montillo. Ah, uh, here we go. From what I saw, the top of this tower would make a great lookout, Kupo. See for yourself. It's as if you can reach out and touch it, the town, Kupo. You know, at a glance, which area... You know, at a glance, which areas are bustling and which ones are a bit barren, Kupo. Who wants barren, Kupo? I hope you'll do something with the extra space, Kupo. Uh, we're coming up on an hour here. Uh, I'll probably quit right after this. Uh, hungry, what I wouldn't give for a nice juicy bowl of round corn right now. So, what do you want? Oh yeah, we can... Don't bother me. <laughs> bother, bother. I'm... Bother, bother. I'm busy. Take me to the lookout. 
you know, at a glance, which areas are bustling and which ones are barren. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess there isn't much point to coming out. I, what is that town? It's a town. I think. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, you can... Time to go to bed, sir. You'll need the rest for tomorrow's activities. Okay, it just saved, so that's good. Lost time, day four. Uh, I'm not gonna... A batch of morning reports. Oh, don't make that face. You know you like reading them. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, we're gonna call it quits. Uh, bum bum. Uh, yeah, anyway. So yeah, this has been part two. This has been part two of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Uh, thank you for watching, and... Uh, like and follow... Or, or subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. I'll be posting this to both YouTube and on to uh, my Omelette account and on Facebook, my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles and Fables. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. Or like and follow. Wherever it is you're watching this. Wherever you're watching this video on. I um, don't, don't know if I'm going to do a live stream. I might do a live stream at some point. But again, it's early days. So... Again, just, uh, you know, and comment, leave comments of uh, what you liked, what you, if you know about this game, uh, give me your options, or give me your ideas about this game, also. And also, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for, thank you for watching. Uh... This is this has been Deku Scrub, Spencer, uh, signing off.